Well. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? It's another episode of Tyler Rolled Right Out of Bed. So let's talk. Just put out a video this morning. I uh, had it scheduled for, I think, nine. Um, and then I wake up and Valve actually made an announcement. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> so here's the thing. Um,. According to the PC Gaming Show. Well. Holy beans. Holy beans. Uh, holy beans. According to the PC Gaming Show, which is something that I have never enjoyed in the past. Keep being you, Vault Boy. Um, Valve's going to be there. Valve's going to announce something. Related to the future of Steam. Now, in case you don't know, I put a secret in my video. Um, there is a rumor, and I said, I said that it was a rumor in the video, and thankfully, when it was put on r slash uh, gaming's uh, leaks and rumors, they said, he said he heard it from a guy who heard it from a guy. That's not actually the case, but I wanted to, like, delegitimize the information a bit. Um, Gabe Newell and Phil Spencer legitimately are talking. I have a recording of that. Not a private recording. He, they were on, like, this closed-door interview thing with Jeff Keighley. Where they, like, said, Oh, yeah, we're talking about working together, and... I'll release that eventually. Um... Yeah, so, um... It could very well be the Xbox Steam collaboration thing, but I figured that that would be at the Xbox Showcase. It's also possible that the, uh... Oh yeah, all of this is a rumor, just like I said. Like, I don't- I'm Tyler McVicker, I don't know what the- like, like all you guys said, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, but... It could very well be the announcement of a new piece of hardware, uh, for the PC Game Show. And he- they could- if they're going to be doing the PC Game Show, what's stopping them from doing the Microsoft Showcase? So it's like, whatever. Uh... The worst thing it could be is some of the Steam Biz Dev people coming out on stage to announce, like, a feature. Or, like, the new mobile app or something. So, don't get your hopes up just yet. You know? It could end up being something terrible. Um, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. I want to hear what you guys think it could be. Also, I'm wearing really tight sunglasses because I have a headache. Go watch my video. Gabe back in America for E3, they wouldn't... No, no, I, I don't think, they don't need to. That's not how that works. Well... Loved your E3 predictions video. Thank you. Is Gabe gonna announce a new version of Windows? No. Hmm. Microsoft is going to announce, maybe. What would an Xbox and Valve collab look like? Well, obviously Steam wants Game Pass. And obviously Xbox wants Steam. So. What does your face look like? You see it all the time. It's in the video. My camp couldn't be placed. We're finding another server. <laughs> uh, the only E3 game I'm looking forward to is Battlefield. What did you say when you said secrets? Watch the video, dick. How has Mama McVicker been? Uh, same as always. <laughs> uh, 
Um, today's style of video was refreshing. Dope. Yeah, um, I'm gonna do those more often, but they need to fit the type of content. Like, I'm not, I don't wanna do like every video that I do in that style. God damn it. There are too many Fallout 76 players. I will say, um, I have some ideas on what kind of stuff would fit that format. Uh, it's effectively just a slightly edited version of what I do on these streams all the time, you know? But that pretty, like, the video itself pretty much sums up everything I want out of E3, um, and everything I've heard. Uh, obviously the video's not getting the kind of view count that I'd like it to get, but what can you do? Alright, what are our dailies for today? Complete a daily op, complete an event, level up, repair. It's the same as yesterday. You guys getting lazy. I'm most excited for Starfield, probably? Um, but I don't know. We'll see. So how is everybody doing? Uh, let's get some questions going. Is Project Borealis still a thing? Yeah, I mean, I think. A couple months ago, I had a conversation with one of the development team and they let me see some stuff. And it looked cool, but like, their timeline that they gave me did not occur. So I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna be streaming everything. Uh, will Chet Falasak announce his work in the near future? Go ask Chet, man, probably. Um, so for the E3 live streams this year, I've got a lot of plans. I remember, I think 2018, I did a big thing and I interviewed. Does anybody remember when I interviewed a boxed copy of Half-Life 2? Remember when I used to be funny? <laughs> I think you're dropping frames. I'm not dropping frames, it's just my game can't render this fucking game quick enough. Da, 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 da. Um, did you ever find a new G-Man impersonator? No, I gave up on talking to other people. Um, did I miss the secret? If you watch the whole thing, yeah. Supposedly at the PC game show, this looks terrible. What looks terrible? This game? Fuck you. Uh, wait, Tyler was funny? No, no, I never was. I forget I said it. Forget I said that. Forget I said it. Ah, fuck. Alright, we're low on screws. Let's go get some screws. Stream has been dropping frames since you started. Dark Grace and just purchased something. Oh yeah, add me, Valve News Network, if you play 76. Uh, I like how the Golden Girls was in the background of your E3 video. So do I. That was a that was a, that was an accident. I didn't. I forgot that it was on. But it was pretty funny, wasn't it? <laughs> uh. Is there an official Citadel announcement coming? Well, the fact that they had to, like, say, this is for Steam, no. Resupply here, citizen. You're gonna get weenie Yo! Come on, Valve Software. I see you joshing me. Acting like you know me. <laughs> Requisitions. Citadel's a Steam Pal exclusive? It's partly VR. That wouldn't work. The secret was there's a rumor going around about Microsoft and Valve collaborating. What is that from? Acting like you know me. What is that from, though? The secret is there is no secret. No, there's a secret. The secret was in the video. <laughs> Did you see those new Doom Eternal collectible vinyls? They cost about $40 each. 
Oh, that's right. It's from anywhere. Rick and Morty. Oh, we're out of screws already. I just bought some damn screws. Uh, would Valve announce Citadel at the Game Awards or the Summer Games Fest Game Awards? If they were to announce it at an event, which, again, they almost never do. But, I mean, they're doing it this time, so fuck me, you know. But no, um, they usually only do that stuff if, like, it serendipitously, uh, lines up. You know? Did you really just block the term Rick and Morty? Why would you do that? What have you left me here? 200 loose screws, and also you have insulted me. Okay, thank you for the screws. Second of all, fuck off. Um... Don't ever insult me again on my own live stream, you dumbass. Uh, so yeah. Get me... Uh, I don't know, man. I like Rick and Morty. Who doesn't like Rick and Morty? I don't like it as much as I used to. I feel like that's fucking everybody, but it's still alright. <sighs> I don't like the fans, sorry. 420 today, Tyler? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't know, man. How you doing? How much has the game changed for the better since it came out? What game? This one? It's, pre it's pretty good. Uh, could Valve announce it out as a PC Xbox exclusive if they- Oh, yeah, they could. That would work. You see, okay, so Citadel has a non-VR section, and it's just played with VR players, right? If Valve wanted to... Yeah, they totally could do that. That'd be kind of dope. Citadel could totally be Xbox PC cross-compatible if they wanted it to be, yes. Uh, that's not me saying I've heard anything that they are doing that, but... Yeah, you, that, the, the mechanics would allow it to be so. Um, and also, Xbox doesn't seem to be that interested in, in doing virtual reality, but, I mean, maybe Valve could help them, and maybe that would be the thing to get them to, you know, work a bit more in the Steam VR platform, which would be kind of cool. Who knows, man? Valve's hard to predict. Also, they suck. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I don't see how Citadel is gonna work, as there are gonna be so many more flat screen players over VR. Yeah, that's true. That's that's a concern I've had too. I have been insulted. Uh, any news about Martin Lawrence? Do I have any news about Martin Lawrence? No, I don't have any news about Martin Lawrence. I'm sorry. I hope you forgive me. I don't have any news about Martin Lawrence. Oh, what am I doing? I'm selling this stuff. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who, who sucks harder between Nintendo or Valve. That'd be super juvenile of me, Valve. Whoops. <laughs> you keep dropping frames. That's cool. Are you really here for the Fallout 76 stuff? You're telling me you are upset because you can't see this beautiful Fallout 76 prot? I'm just playing this so that I can talk to you guys. Wink. <clears throat> um. You guys ready for the audio to get fucked? 
Tyler Quake video one. Uh, there's uh, all of the videos that aren't Starfield related are going to be happening after E3. And the audio is already bugged out. This is the buggiest area in the game, but it just so happens to be the easiest daily quest. If you want to complete your event, I'm doing this fertile soil. Yeah, so this is a bug. Um, it's this thing that happens where, for some reason, when you're using an explosive weapon and you come to do fertile soil, there's just too many areas of sounds because Mr. Handy's have this, like, always going fire sounds. And then the explosive weapons have their own sound, and... Can you elaborate on what you meant by Shimagami Tensei 5 being shown for an uncomfortable amount of time? Uh, yeah, I just meant that people aren't gonna like it because it's anime. So any amount of time is an uncomfortable amount of time. Nintendo has a has a tendency of showing anime instead of their own games. And I like the Titans stuff and the the Yash Inuyasha stuff. Tyler, spill the beans. I've done enough bean spilling for today. Anyone else not hearing game audio? Yeah, me. It's a bug. We're experiencing a bug. Entitled assholes are the worst kind of people. Hmm. I'd say Nazis are the worst kind of people. But sure, pe entitled people. Yeah. Yo, Any Mortal news on HLX, or is it still very early in development? Both. It won't be at E3 though, so we're not gonna talk about it today. We're in E3 mode. Right now, I'm just focusing on getting the Starfield video out uh, by Thursday. What about Entitled Nazis? Oh, God. You know what I mean in terms of gamers? Last I checked, there are Nazi gamers. You can be a gamer, and you can also be a Nazi. And I say fuck them both. Half-Life 4? Uh, probably D3. You can quote me on that, IGN. Tyler, are you a gamer? Don't ever call me that. Where is Citadel in development? Um, pretty close. As long as, you know, they've continued working on it, I'd say it's pretty close. After reading the comments on gaming leaks and rumors, I want to compile all your leaks through the years and see your accuracy rate. <laughs> Good luck. It's probably worse than you want it to be, but that's just part of the job. Uh, mostly, like, look, I literally just had a something be like yourself. wrong, so of course it's going to be in the most recent. That's going to be in their mind pretty heavily. 
I will say the one guy that's like, you want to hear the real truth about Tyler? He started the bot crisis, to TF2 bot crisis, to make money on creators that DM. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Um, did you see the Pokemon clone game where you have a gun? Yeah. What is it called? Pals or something. They're not Pokemon, they're pals. They're my pals. Oh, man. Yeah, all right. We got to restart the game. It crashes, though, because stuff. What is this? Close. All right. Start it up again, ladies and gentlemen. I invented Valve to profit from it, dickhead. Yeah, that was the true game. Yeah. Pokemon manufacture guns. Seems like it would be pretty different to put together an accuracy rate for Tyler because frequently he only gets something half right or it was true in development but not released. Stuff like that. Yep. You Gabe Newell's son, admit it. I'm not Gabe Newell's son. Tyler created the sniper class so that the bots could be created. It's about right. I am not doing this quest again. It crashes my audio. Let's take down those supervisors. You guys already do your daily op? Is that why you're just sitting here? Didn't know what, that Gray was making a game. Uh, he was. I don't know if it's still around. I haven't spoken to him in a little bit. Guys, okay, rolling around. Valve won't be at E3, right? No, Valve will be at E3. They confirmed it this morning. Is uh, Starfield likely going to run on a more modern version of the piece, the, the creation engine? Well. Okay, so I can go off of Todd's words, and then I can go off of leaks from insiders. Both are just as, um, how do I put it? They're both not hugely reliable. Um, but according to Todd, the engine that is used to create Starfield is the largest engine leap since Morrowind's to Oblivion. The engine leap between 76 to this, or Fallout 4 to this, Starfield, uh, is the same, is, is larger th uh, of a leap than it was from Morrowind's to Oblivion. Now, does that mean I buy it? Fucking no. But that is what Todd said. Um. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, the insiders have said that something 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 that I'm gonna keep for the video and also a lot of stuff has been done to the engine like there is actually a lot of interesting stuff that's being done to the engine and it really is according to the insiders quite the leap Join my game. Let's do a daily op together, boys. We got pubes. I'm playing with a guy named Pubes. Lovely. Why doesn't BGS just use id tech? Because 
BGS's creation engine was made specifically to create the kinds of games that they want to make in mind. Whereas id tech is not made to do that. You dummy. Whoa. Yo. Smile. Smile. Thank you for the 19 months, Kex Town. But I will say the PC gaming show hosted by Day9 and the curly haired girl that likes to dress up as a shark. Never been a fan. Did you know that I always confuse Day9 and Sir Action Slacks because they're like the same fucking corporate white dude? <laughs> Former gamer corporate white dude guy. Every year I'm like, is that Slacks or is that Day9? And uh, the thing that sucks is I'm friends with Slacks. <laughs> <sighs> you guys, I heard you guys like uh, E3. Oh, uh, this one was. I did this one last night. This one's fun. These fuckheads explode. <laughs> I googled both those people, and damn, they do look the same. Right? Right? Who's your favorite VTuber? I haven't watched VTubers in forever, but probably Corona. I mean, that was the one that I watched. When she when she tried to do English only for Super Mario Brothers like last year it was pretty fun. Oh, is mom here? Uh-oh. Everybody stopped talking about her. Any chance of the Steam Link app on Switch? Very low. But the chance of xCloud and some form of Game Pass on Switch. Also a Microsoft rep. Another Microsoft rep in Smash. You know, I filmed that video that came out today like four different times. Um, and I filmed it once. Uh, when I was really depressed, I wanna. I think I'm gonna let you see the depression. Uh, the, release the depression cut. Uh, Bill Gates and Smash. Holy shit! His final Smash is trying to keep the vaccine from being open source so that he can make millions on the vaccine. It's not 5G, it's, it's just, you know, it's just being a shitty billionaire. And we all talk to him like he should, like, know how the, the future should operate. Okay, well, what's, he made Microsoft Windows in the 80s, and, uh, he's a big fan of the Lolita Express. And he's a billionaire. Hey mom, since you're here, what's your take on Ghislaine Maxwell? My mom has nothing to say. Maybe just Lane Maxwell was at her wedding as well. You guys aren't asking me good questions. You guys are really bad at asking me questions. 
Ask me better questions, Jesus. So Valve will be at the PC Gaming Show. Yeah, it'll probably just be Gabe uh, talking to a camera in a room, making an announcement, even though Gabe had nothing to do with whatever announcement they're making. Refer back to my Gabe's, Gabe Lies in TF2 video on why that happens. Uh, if you had a chance to take Gabe to dinner, where would you take him? I would, I would stand him up. I'm not taking a billionaire to dinner. You think I'm made of that kind of money? He's not Robin Walker. Let Robin Walker take Gabe's job. Let Robin Walker take Gabe's job. Let Robin Walker be the new CEO. Let Robin Walker be in charge, please. Would Robin Walker even do that? I don't. Do you? How would I know? Am I Robin Walker? Oh shit! Am I Robin Walker? That's dope. Do an Australian accent. Good eye, mate. Today, we're going to be playing Fallout 76. Look at this fucking... Look at this fucking... I, I'm just going right into British. I can't do it. I apologize to all Aussies. Sniping is a good job, mate. Attention, citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Snipers, New Zealand, New Zealand, or whatever, right? Thank you for your They're gonna show. Look, professional guests. What are they gonna show? Piece of hardware, probably. Steam pal, maybe. It's either going to be cool, or really, really, really nothing. With no in-between. Do you think uh, that any more Valve games will come to Switch? Has any Valve game ever come to Switch? What do you mean, any more Valve games? You should check a boomer shooter called Viscera Fest. I should check a boomer shooter called Viscera Fest. Huh. I should? What's it about? What's Viscera Fest about? What is it? Oh, it's, it's a boomer shooter, you said, right? Oh, okay. So, I've been playing a lot of games lately for a bunch of different projects and stuff, right? Uh, these are some games that I've been playing. These are some games. These are some games. These are also some games. Look at, look at all these games. Where'd you get that VR skin? I don't know what a VR skin is. So I can't answer your question. I, it's not me that read the question wrong. It's you who asked a stupid question. Pardon me if I sound stupid, but what's a boomer shooter? You should know this. 
You should know this. All right, I'm joining a private world. Feel free. Feel free. Feel free. Feel free. Valve News Network. Valve News Network. Valve News Network. Valve News Network. Would you want to make a video on a JRPG? I mean, sure, isn't Yakuza 7 a JRPG? Yakuza's fucking awesome. Don't listen to what Council has to say. Alright, join my game. Oh, look at that. I have no friends. My friends all disappeared. Alright, we gon' do some daily quests. People didn't seem to like the feature, so they just started dropping it. It had nothing to do with Valve never sticking with anything. Ooh, I got a message from my favorite Starfield friend. Boom. Mmm. 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 Look at this. Look at this. Original quality. Not Twitter. Not Twitter compressed. It's the original leak. Not the Twitter leak. I was able to get the original images, not just the ones that appeared on Twitter. Starfield leaks, ladies and gentlemen. You got a Starfield video from your, yours truly, Tyler McVicker, coming soon. You have a Starfield question? You want to ask about Starfield? Do it, man. Valve not committing to features is definitely part of it, too. Hey, you're right. Is this Matthew Mercer? Are you Matthew Mercer? I think that's Matthew Mercer. Shout outs to Matthew Mercer. The last functioning osmosis. Excellent. I think so. This first aid kit is always empty. <clears throat> yeah. Dope. No, I have not had a chance to get to the mine yet. Jeez. Is Starfield about a field that looks like a star? Will Starfield have good writing? I'm glad you're asking the legitimate questions. No! Of course it won't! It's a BGS game! This isn't an Obsidian game. It's a BGS game! No! It will have fantastic systems! It's gonna have good story? Absolutely fucking not. Are you dumb? You're dumb, right? You're asking me this question because you are dumb. Look, I have 166 hours on Fallout 76 on Steam. I had another 100 hours when it was only on Bethesda Net. I love their games. No, it's not gonna have a good story. Did you play Fallout 4? That story's terrible! You are missing out. You should fear it. Shop and funny. Uh, Starfield is developed on the same engine as Fallout 4. An updated version of the same engine, but yes, the same engine. Correct. So it's going to be jank. No comment. They love the engine for known reasons. This isn't, like, unknown why they like it. We know why they like it. Alright. 
bruh, the frame rate is so bad. Exclamation point, donate the chat. Help me get a better graphics card. I did it. I didn't want to kill him, but he left me no choice. All right, maybe this game should have been better optimized. N no, it's the stream. I'm actually getting 140 frames right now. It's OBS. Will Starfield have fully modeled characters? <laughs> that depends. What do you mean by that? Will they have Will they be, like, modeled, or will they have fully modeled, you know, pelvises and cervixes and G-spots and shit? Will they have the full female reproductive organ fully modeled? Uh, I don't know. That's a, that's a quite. I think, uh, just try and ask Todd. If you ever get a hold of Todd, ask him that question. Yeah. Why limit it to female? You know, that's a great question. Why would you limit that to female? Why would you spend so much time to model the reproductive organs of just the female? What's the guy's name that made the fucking uh, cinematic mod? Ask him. Fucking weirdo. Because he's horny? Yeah, so there's this mod for Half-Life 2 called the Cinematic Mod that attempted to improve stuff uh, for Fallout, uh, for Half-Life 2. Uh, part of that um, improvement was including a, a bedroom for Alex Vance at uh, the Black Mesa East base. And on the bed in the bedroom was a vibrator. And also, fully modeled breasts and nipples, fully modeled vagina, and going so far as to model the cervix. The motherfucking cervix. The inside of the vagina. Didn't model any of that shit for the men, though. No nipples, nothing. <laughs> this was just part of her player model. You're hearing it right. I would be wrong if when I was like 11 or 12, I didn't look up Alex Vance nipples. I did, I, 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 I will admit it, I did look up Alex Vance nipples. A 
find it funny how uncomfortable Westerners are with sexual stuff. Where are you from? Scandinavia. Congratulations. After almost 12 long years of blogging, we finally made it to the end of Tumblr.com. Gordon's like 24, yeah. Let me get a look at you, man. I thought Gordon was 27? I don't remember. Who am I, like Valve News Network or something? Uh. Why are we getting frame rate problems on an interior location? There's just something wrong with my computer. What if I change a setting? Let's, let's change a setting. Does that improve it? No, absolutely not. Do you think Fallout 76 will ever go free to play? Probably not, but it's free on uh, Game Pass, so... No excuse. Damn, there I have no fast travel points to get here. All right. Do you know something about the new Microsoft Studio acquisition? I've been hearing about that. No, I don't know who it is. Man, my frame rate is really bad. Why is it so fucking bad? Jesus Christ. Which does have a limited bitrate, and they also don't allow X265, which is just so fucking annoying. OBS has high priority in the system manager. Set. I'm streaming at the highest bitrate you can stream at on Twitch. Fuck off.
You're gonna get weenie whack. I am. Starfield mobile game. Maybe. I'm getting a reveal or a tease. Crunchy or creamy peanut butter. I creamy. love you. <sighs> okay. Uh, Omen getting a reveal. Yeah, I think so. That was in the video. Um, Starfield mobile game. So Microsoft owns Alpha Dog now. So like, yeah, they're probably gonna want to use it for something. Can you make a a list of what you use in Fallout 76 for mods? Uh, maybe. There you go. Microsoft likes buying things as much as they almost like selling things. Shitty question, I know, but do you think we're gonna get anything about TF2? At E3? At E3. You think we're gonna get Team Fortress 2 news? At E3. No. Jesus. Hey, what do you need? If you've got reason, I can fit. No Yo! Arcana E with the sub. How many months is that for you? Five. Thank you very much. Just got here. Have I missed the discussion? Yeah. thought about digging into cyberpunk news or the next witcher game nope not something i'm interested in that obviously can change but right now not the case okie dokie so that's enough of that so yeah how long we've we been streaming an hour Sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. Which E3 conference are you, hypes you the most? Oh, the Microsoft one. So I'm gonna show you the depression cut. I recorded this video like three times or four times or something. And the original version of it was filmed when I was very, very depressed. And it looked like this. You're gonna get weenie whack! Yo. Sunglasses Tyler has the same energy as the guy is who is banging my wife. Uh. Also, do you think Jeff will ever get his game on stage with a crowbar moment? No. What I'm personally really interested in, um, you know, if you follow the channel, you're probably aware that I'm I'm quite a fan of, of first person shooters and RPGs, uh, open world exploration game or the Tetris 99, Pac-Man 99. Super Mario 35-esque stuff. Um, 
And different rumors that have existed for a long time, like Paper Mario 64 remake, Wario Land Virtual Boy remake, uh, new style savvy. Yeah. So I didn't go with that one. <laughs> for obvious reasons. <sighs> Room is literally darker in the depression cut. Yeah, I don't like keeping lights on when I'm sad. Classic Steam skin is dope. Yeah, you know it. Ah, son of a butthole. Cloudpunk good? Oh yeah. I'm trying to get it to run with VR. Do you wanna watch me do that? So last night I hit a lead. There's this program called VR Gen. It's this Unity injection framework that allows you to um, effectively inject VR capabilities into Unity games. However, it's totally hit or miss. I guess they never miss, you know? So, we're gonna try it. So you just download this template. Right? And then you go to the game that you want to convert. Right? And then you copy it in. And you drag it over here. Oh, game does not seem to be a Unity project. Could not find the libraries to patch. I can assure you it's a Unity project. Well, you just watched me quickly fail. Um, yeah, this is effectively what the Unity people did. The the Risk of Rain 2 people did. That This is the thing they used to start out with it. So, okay, that one, that didn't work. That's too bad. This game does not appear to be a Unity project. Damn it! Okay, then what if I just do this? Properties. Let's just do that. See what happens. Uh, that didn't work. What does lost mouse mean? So I've been trying to get this fucking thing running in VR. Cause it's such the it's such a perfect VR game! Like look at this. Oh okay, you're telling me this is VR? No, but this is Look at this.
look at this. Okay, let's see the frame rate. Control, come in. This is... Wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver of 14FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? No, my name is Rania. Oh, you're the new kid. I'm the new driver, yeah. Who's... Driver 14 FB. It's a pretty good game. What happened to him? He, he retired last month. Good for him. Not really. He was in the big city. So as you can see I am trying to get it to run in virtual reality don't worry you won't be flying through that section. so I'm gonna let's let's do it let's do it I'm gonna show you how to do it I'm gonna show you how to do VR with non-VR games is a program called Vorp Ass. Vorp X is terrible. It's piss. I hate it. Let me just let me just quickly be like Cloud Punk. So here's a here's a VR headset. This is a Valve Index. We're going to set that on the table. We're going to turn on Vorpix. Vorp, Vorp Ass. Start Vorpix. We're going to turn on VR. We're going to go to the NVIDIA control panel here. Don't you have to pay for Vorpix? Yes, and I bought it like a dumbass. We're going to go here, we're going to manage 3D settings, and we're going to limit CloudPunk's frame rate to 45, and we're going to run it at half and let motion smoothing do the rest. Attaching to live streamer kit? Are you fucking kidding me? No, don't, don't do that. Exit. Yuck. It's not good software. All right. CloudPunk add... This is going to take a minute, guys. Yeah, Vorpex is like $40, and it still has a watermark on everything. It's not good software. Cloudpunk add. All right. Um, we're going to application control that. We're going to max frame rate at 45. There you go. Who's it made by? Uh, I don't actually know. The Vorpex people, I guess. All right, so now we're going to start it. Play. Vorpex is not VR. That's fine. Vorpex adds itself into it. All right, preparing to launch CloudPunk. I'm going to close out of some stuff. Attaching to CloudPunk. All right. Da, da, da. All right, we want it to be stuck at 45 FPS. And then I'm gonna go into VR, right? As you can see, VR, well actually you can't see it. Hold on. It, it captures the cursor. Perfect yet, but 
Control, come in. This is... Wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver of 14FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? No, my name is Rani. Good. Good. Oh, you're the new kid. I'm the new driver, yeah. Who is Carmine? He was driver 14FB. What happened to him? He, he retired last month. Good for him. Not really. He was in the big Sector 6 crash last week. Lots of people got retired. Don't worry, you won't be flying through that section for hours yet. Where do I go now? Well, how are you handling your hava? Okay, I guess. I read your references. You're a good driver, but navigating a hava around Navalis isn't like driving your flat country roads back home. Now, this city goes down a hundred miles and up a thousand. Remember, you're not driving an old internal combustion engine. You'll need to engage your vertical repulsors or find one of the car lifts. Fly to headquarters. I'll give you more instructions when you arrive. Thanks, Control. Uh, one more thing, 14FC. Welcome to Cloud Punk. There's a slight delay between my head moving and what I'm seeing. For a long time. It's not perfect yet. There's very obviously some kind of mouse smoothing going on.
No, the game isn't VR. I'm, I'm trying to get it to work in VR. And I've been trying to do that for a while. And that's the closest I ever got. Hell yeah. Oh, that's a good-ass game, too. Uh, so that's something I've been playing lately. Well, not really playing, more just trying to get to work. Uh, but I got it to kind of work. So, hell yeah. Um, I'm using Vorpex to do that. What else can I show you guys that I'm doing? Oh, right. This game's actually quite good. Shoutouts to Reno for giving me this game. This hired gun game. Maybe this one will look like not give absolute shit frames. First millennium, and mankind rules the stars. Cool. This sprawling empire is powered by hive worlds. Gargantuan planets of industry. Necromunda is the greatest hive world in all of the Imperium. With cities that rise from the ash wastes. Like sheer mountain peaks. Yo, thanks spire for the sub. upon spire. Tower upon tower. The hives climb so far above the poison clouds, they cleave the heavens. And what nightmares may come in these hive cities. Where humanity has been allowed to grow, unchecked, in its teeming billions. This is this game. I should probably change the Twitch title. Necromunda Hired Gun. I know it's a little loud. I know. I'm on chapter two. I, I finished the tutorial mission. Who's there? Oh, you know me. Damn. Jericho. Where am I? Martyr's End. Martyr's End. Martyr's End. Beyond Thorian's Dome, beyond the bad zones of Delta Seven, far from where you want to be, I'll wager. But a better place than you'd be in otherwise, I can assure you. Better than I would be if I hadn't met you. I saved your life. Feels like you did a great job. I suppose it all depends on what you imagine being dead feels like. You seem keener than you should be on finding out. Ha <laughs> ha! Enough of the riddles, Spire Boy. What happened? <laughs> There's time for all that later. You're gonna hurt yourself straining like that? Remember, you only just made it this far. 
I like the gun design in this game. Friend here, there's a watering hole right outside the Blessed Temple, they call it. You can find me there when you're ready. Ready for what? That's the fun part. Finding out. Is this the hub? It's not Cadia, but this gang war is providing me with more material than usual. Ah, Cadia. So this game has DLSS support, which I'm not using. So I'm gonna put it on quality. Say. And it works so well, it seems. It's not Cadia, but this gang. Who are Hello? You? What is this place? I'm Malakachin. You may call me Malak. No. I'm a chirurgeon, and this is my surgery. A chirurgeon. You're lucky to be here. Damn. A rogue dog. If you prefer. Yes. What did you do to me? Nothing I didn't have to. Well, maybe a little more than I had to. That's a most impressive set of bionics. They would have been a pleasure to work with, but for all the bleeding flesh getting in the way. Ah! Thanks. I'm sure there used to be more of it. Your friend is right. Cal Jericho. He's not my friend. He's when not he my dead, friend! You should have died. It's only those bionics of yours that saved you. But still, there was a lot of damage. It will take you a little while to heal. And a little while to get used. What? A few adjustments. An internal reservoir. Uh. A cerebral implant. You'll find they're all improvements once you get used to them. Cerebral implant? Where the hell did that come from? From your friend, Cal Jericho. He's not my friend. Oh, I'd say he is now. These bionics, once you have healed, they will allow you to do incredible things. But there might be a few adjustments. This was made by the same people that did Ice Divine Cybermancy. Really? Good game. You should come back and see me when you're ready to find out what you're really capable of. Hello. So I can level up? Bionic arms. Health bonus. Oh, wow. This is a lot to upgrade. This is a lot to take in. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness, okay. Enough with these fucking spam calls. Health bonus. Strength. Exploration bonus? Increases chance of looting objects, increases the chance of critical hit. Damn! I think I'm gonna do that, right? Oh, Jesus. Look at all these things! So many things. Uh, wall hack. Aim hack. Some kind of, like, charm? Bullet time. I'm gonna do this because the looted stuff helps me pay for the rest of it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, and I got an achievement. Small upgrade. Buy your first upgrade from the rogue dock. What is this? Refractor fields are small enough to be disguised as jewelry. They disperse and attack across a field's entire surface to negate the damage, but they're also constantly enveloped the user with a soft halo. Your refractor field reduces damage taken. Oh, it's like a like a shield. Okay. Forbidden, they say. God. 
This I game, though. Words. Holy shit. I hear you've been busy. You're going to need more than what you've got there. Here, take a look. Show me what you got. This game is overwhelming. I thought, look, I re uh, this was on my thing, uh, my wish list because I thought it looked cool. Reno told me, Reno got it for me, and I thought it was just a straight first-person shooter. That is not the case. It's not stable. Trust me. Yeah, and they took it back from us. Too bad. I found a nice little hideout, and now we've been this hot between gangs around here in a while. Show me what you can do for me. All right. What? What is it? Oh, it's just a skin. Okay, I like Corsair. This is neutral ground. You get it? Oh. No fighting. No Wait, shooting, did I just pick a... No threats to kill. Yeah, this fucking guy. The shadow. That's the part that bothers me. This isn't one of my quests. Sounds like it's warranted. I heard a couple of... The Artificer. Relics are messengers from a glorious age. Show me what you can do for me. What can he do? Oh, I can rename guns? Why well, everybody got a fucking British accent on them? Fucking Cockney. Hello. Gladiatorium is an arena where you can freely test out your new weapon. Press spacebar. Oh, I didn't know I could double jump. They didn't let me do that in the first one. First level. Well, okay, well, where does it want me to go with my new double jump? Oh, probably up there, right? Ah. Yeah, there's wall running, and it's a little jank. I guess it's a bit of an in-joke at this point, but the darkness of the 41st Ameri of millennium, there are no Americans. I understand. That's fine, but why in 2,000 years does everybody have Cockney British accents instead of, like, a new accent? People 2,000 years ago did not sound like the way we sound now, you know? Alright, I made it. Now what? Fuck you. Attack dog. Alright, I did I did the repertorium. Is this another one of those fabled boomer shooters? I don't think this is a boomer shooter. Plenty of Seems more like an RPG. I think they'd have heard by now. Russ, damn right. Hey there. Wild Snake. I like you. You must be able to read the sign. No. What does it say? It says patrons only. But you don't need to worry about that. You figured it right out. You must be a psychic. I won't go telling anyone you're. Here you go. Wild Snake. How much? Your friends already got it covered. Halmore's teeth. What is this? He's not my friend. Definitely psychic. That might be the quickest I've seen anybody work that out. But either way, your drink is covered. You should go and see him. He's right over there. My drink is covered. And hey, 
If you ever want to know what's really going on around here, come back and see me. Thanks. What's your name? Just call me the Wild Snake Priestess. Cool. What in? So, ready to talk? About how you nearly got me killed. About how I saved your life. Fuck you, Jericho. Fatal, Leto. Well, no. I knew they weren't up to it. Always work alone. I should have stuck. To I should have stuck with that. Now, tell me, what happened up there? That Escher gang you wanted us to take down. There was someone else with them. Yes, I think so. Oh yeah. Who? The one who killed Virax? Maybe. I mean, I think so. The Black Serpents are working with an outlaw, a very dangerous outlaw, mm -hmm. who seems to be calling himself the Silver Tank. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. knew he was there? No, I didn't. But the Black Serpents are his muscle. I figured they might give us a few leads. I didn't think whoever killed Virax would be crazy enough to still be hanging around here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you thought you'd dangle some bait? No, nothing like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Besides, you were quick enough to take me up on the deal. Maro and his brother specialize in archaeotech mm -hmm, and stuff, mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they control pretty much all the trade around here. Mm -hmm. His caravan was ambushed less than an hour from here, so I figured whoever was responsible would be long gone and far away mm -hmm, by now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It seems not. Meanwhile, there's a few gangs around here who have been trying to make a name for themselves, mm -hmm, taking mm -hmm. more risks than usual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Black Serpents, those Escher you met earlier, and a couple of Orlock gangs, the Iron Vipers, the Scrapture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you think they're working for the Silver Talent, too? I think they're being awfully bold. I think Almost they're being like awfully bold. Don't you think, my lady? Silver Talon is still around. And you think it's the Silver Talon who killed Virax? What or brand of 3080 Ti are you planning on getting? Whatever brand I can get a hold at Damn. at near MSRP I by just you know scouring the around way. the internet for a, a month. As soon as I found out, I came to warn you. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, that's how mm -hmm. I found you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not exactly just in time. You don't think. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. cerebral implant. Mm hmm Where did that come from? I took it from the Black Serpents. Maybe they were just trying to sell it, or maybe it's something that you know who is looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is why mm -hmm. it made mm -hmm. so much sense mm -hmm. to put it in. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll find out. This isn't Fallout! Stop talking! I'm saving my life just so you can get I don't kill. know this universe! Oh my God, I just want to shoot! Shame, boom, boom, bow, bow, pow, pow, pow! A little if lame. I were a less generous man, I might suggest you would mind debt, you know? But I won't. Now listen. Uh -huh. There's a fortune to be made mm -hmm. for both of us. Mm -hmm. You won't get it on your own. Mm -hmm. Wanna bet? Oh, I'd wager. But if you lose, you'll have nothing left to give me anyway. Mm. So just don't forget, the offer's there. And you know where to find me. What kind of game is this? What kind of game is this? I thought this was a single player first person shooter. This does not I could have got that for half the price before they hijacked the container. What so? The two of you get everything. You might say that. Shoot. The Iron Viper. Or luck. You might say I used to know a few of them. I don't. But Oh, what a some crop. It's a single player FPS with minor looting and RPG elements. Oh, I have to talk to the down runner. Hey, bud. Jado. Yeah. I'm looking for someone, Jado. They tell me you're the guy to help me find them. Anything within a dozen domes of here. Who? The Iron Vipers. Know them? Yeah, I do. They've been making a lot of noise around here lately. Know where I can find them? Not 
exactly. But I do know they made a move on the steel crocs. A Goliath gang mm. a couple of days ago. Nice. They got lucky. Captured the crocs leader. Is that so? Captured the crocs you know leader. No, but they want something from him, all right. The crocs are out looking for him, so I hear the vipers are going to try and move him. There is so much exposition going on right now. They control part of an old cargo train network they use for smuggling. My guess is they're going to try moving him out that way. Somewhere the Goliaths will never find him. You know when and where? I could take a guess. You want me to show you? Yeah. Well then, let me light the way. Think you can spot a phosphor beacon? What? Phosphor beacon. A dome runner's best friend out in the bad zones. I'll lay a trail for you. Do I plan on doing videos on EA games? Challenge everything. No. Yeah, Pick. that's him. Old Alfred says he saw them bring him in. Real mess. Emperor only knows what that sawbones has done. So I'm seeing that there's some, some some loot about some loot to boot. So we're gonna look around for a quick minute. Hmm. Yes. Perhaps that would work. Oh. At least if it doesn't, I shall have the wrong I'm back here again. again. Everybody calls this game jank. How much you want to bet this is less buggy than Cyberpunk? Yo, what up? I mean, the fact that I can get up here is promising. Shooting range. No, I saw right. Those iron vipers think they've thrown him with some big brains. Well, we can show him it ain't no good against Goliath. Where do I gotta pick a mission? No. Oh, okay. We need to take down those black serpents. Yeah, what up? Can't stand those issues. Oh. Some secondary missions not related to the main campaign will be available to you every time you visit the hub. Those missions have different difficulty levels, goals on the places you've already visited. They will help you gather more credits. Wow. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the mission I've already played, so let's play this mission. My goodness. Select your loadout. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't have a whole lot. I'm, I'm new to this. Where's the start? Yeah. Confirm. Launch mission. Let's go. <sighs> Coloss 44! Let's actually play a damn mission. There are nine fucking treasure chests in this fucking mission. Nine. Big ass levels. There's some big ass levels. Jesus Christ. What engine does this run on? It's probably Unreal, right? UE4? 
This game is really interesting looking. Damn, the art direction of this game is quite good. Oh. What the fuck? Whoa! You enjoying the gameplay? Yeah, so far. <gasps> Your boy got a gun! What's the button for the in my inventory? How do I check the guns I have? Oh, this button, right. Yeah, I know nothing about the 40k universe, but this game does look really fucking good. My a friend of mine is huge into the 40k universe and told me this game was great. I'm hoping we see some PC VR headsets at E3, but seeing as it's not like a thing with a whole show floor, I'm wary. You know. It's the Roman Empire in space. Oh. Oh, I've been found. Hey. The music's pretty good, too. Doesn't VR segment... Isn't there a VR segment right after the PC Games one? Is there? Yeah, I think this has convinced me to get this. Yeah, it's pretty fucking great from what I... I mean, I'm only 67 minutes into it, but from what I've played, this is... I don't understand what people were saying about this being super janky. Like, there's jank, but, like, not that bad. There's really cool exploration elements. The art style's fantastic. The music is fucking awesome. The gunplay is pretty solid. Like, it's no Doom Eternal. Yet, apparently you get a grappling hook, and there's Titanfall 2 wall running, so I don't know. And there's a double jump. I mean, like, yeah, obviously it's not a AAA game that does everything, but what it does do, it does really well. I didn't know it was by the guys that did I Divine Cyberman theme, because holy shit, that's a good-ass game. Also, you have an attack dog. You do have an attack dog. You have a magic attack dog. Can you pet the dog? Yeah, you can. Just not during combat. You can pet him 
on at the hub and also at the very beginning of the game you can pet him your character really loves the dog like there's some kind of personal attachment there which i mean i get behind that you know so here's a stim i don't know how to pick up stims i think that might actually be an upgrade to allow you to pick up stims but then again, I did find a bunch of loose stim packs all over the place in the first level, and I couldn't pick them up. Anybody that's played this game that knows how to pick up the stim packs when they're found just in the world, please let me know. Um, I am playing on hard, because this game is actually quite easy. Yeah, it can only have a max of three, and you already have three, but I used one. So you'd think that I'd be able to pick one up, but I can't. Stims aren't health pack. Stims revive you. Oh, what? Wait, how do I ch Is there really not an inventory button? Actions wheel. Huh. Wait, where am I supposed to go now? I love the verticality in this level design, dude. Holy shit. Also, yeah, wall running. Oh, you can't do a wall running on a double jump. You can do it on a single jump, though. It kind of activates anywhere, though. It's a bit jank. That's the one thing I agree on when they say the game's a bit jank. The wall running is a little janky. Not nearly as polished as like Titanfall 2, but it's still really good. So there are these treasure chests that are like Borderlands loot boxes, but more important. Because they give you way more than just a new gun. Run or you're, you'll miss it. Am I on a timer? Jump in. Where am I jump? Oh shit, where am I going? Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck. 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 Where am I going? If you miss this chance, they're gonna be gone. Get on that train. Okay. Did I make it in time? Damn, bro, you lost a lot of weight. Yo, thanks, man. I take a lot of vitamins. Go on a lot of walks. Jericho's gonna have to help my chef for this. Is this game stable for you? I haven't had a crash or anything, knock on wood. Okay, maybe it's a little like Doom Eternal. Hey, hey, did you make it? Are you okay? Yeah, I made it. Maybe. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, there's a something just happened though. Look at this. Let's see. First major patch is live. Second community update. Right now, they're working on gamepad controls on PC, performance and stuttering. We've seen your reports, including from higher end PCs. While this is definitely a priority, fixing this may come gradually across more than one update uh, since it's an unexpected and complex problem to solve. Crashes, sound mixing. 
Oof. Here's a full list of what will arrive in our next update. A large number of crash fixes, dialogue sound mixing improvement, uh, added missing sound VFX and levels, takedown tutorial bug, which caused you to get stuck, gamma settings, screen game freeze, fix of the who needs weapons achievement, additional issues. Hey, I mean, good for them. You know? Yeah, they're the they're this guy. That's nuts. They made Space Hulk Deathwing. This is an RTS though, isn't it? Wait, this is an FPS? What? Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I didn't, that's true, I knocked on this plastic table. You're right. You're totally right. It's a Left 4 Dead co-op style game. Yeah, I, Eve, whatever, it's pretty good. I, it's years ago that I played it, but yeah. Damn. All right, well, I think this is good for a live stream for today. Thank you all for hanging out. Have you tried Harvester yet? No, um, and I don't really plan to anytime soon. I do appreciate the gift, but... Uh, yeah. Um, we did our dailies. I'm playing ESO. I'm starting to play ESO a bit, and I'm enjoying my time in it. Um... Yeah. Yeah, so right now I am working on... We just got the E3 video out. Next is going to be the Starfield video, which I'm excited to finish and get out. Uh, I'm thinking Thursday. Um, yeah, so I'm going on a date with Electra today. It's going to be a date day. I'm waiting for her to wake up. We are $990 away from a 3080 Ti. We're 35 followers into our June follow goal, and it is the 7th. Uh, and we are 26 uh, subs into our sub goal. So thank you very much. Uh, let's find somebody to raid. Let's see who's streaming right now. No one I follow. Uh, who? What kind of game should we find? Who's streaming Fallout right now? That's Pokemon. That's in Russian. Anyone streaming 76? Um... No clips live. Danny is live. All right, we go. We gonna raid Danny. I didn't know No Clip had a Twitch page. All right, yeah. Hold up. See you guys. Tell Danny I said hi. Peace and hair grease. <laughs>